well hey my pretties welcome back so let me tell you guys i'm sitting here i'm i'm doing a video i'm editing a video for you guys and i've been meaning to record this video a few times just to talk to you guys you guys know how i used to do my sit downs my little chit chat videos to where i just kind of talk to you guys randomly about things well that's what we're here to do well that's what i'm here to do <laughs> while i'm editing because i said look just do it just just turn the camera on and do this okay so the reason why i wanted to do this mainly is because i wanted to run something past you guys because i've been feeling kind of bad i have i really have so the reason why is because and if i'm looking this way it's because i'm kind of i'm trying to edit because i'm trying to get this video up for you guys before it gets too late, it's already 1.30. I have a certain time, like I'm never really on a schedule, but I do have certain times that I like to try to get stuff up for you guys. It's just been busy. I've been super busy. Okay, so my main focus in talking to you guys today or right now is what I feel bad about, you got, what I feel bad about is I, as you can see behind me, I did not decorate this year for Halloween. I didn't. Uh, it drives me crazy because I have so much decor. Th that's the only two holidays that I really, really decorate for is Halloween and Christmas. You guys know Christmas. Um, But the thing was is that today is the first day that it is that it's kind of cool outside we had a little bit of drizzle this morning and i mean we're it's the middle of october and so for me to just um start putting halloween decor out now it will be kind of like because then i'm gonna take it down in two weeks and it's not even yeah well the reason why i didn't decorate is because it had been so hot here in california you guys already know where i'm at well most of you guys do but it was so hot that i just was not in this like i don't want to say in the in the halloween spirit but i just was not in the it just wasn't there it was not there for me um and then on top of that, I had a lot of things happening. I know probably like two weeks ago, or was it three weeks ago, I took a small, you guys probably didn't even realize it, but I had took like a small little break. Um, Cause even when I take a break, you guys still get videos. So what I do when I know that I'm gonna take a break is I try to go to a couple stores in a week and I just kinda sit on them. So if I went to, a store on Monday you guys would probably see it on Wednesday because I space them out and I have to do that sometimes every now and then um, for myself like a little bit of self-care to kind of like step away from YouTube step away from editing from filming and all of that um, there was a few things that was going on in my life that it was just like I just kind of needed a break I kind of mentioned it in one of my videos and some of you guys caught on um and so yeah it was like nothing major or anything like that but it was just like you know i've been doing this for so many years that you know every now and then i learned over the years that you have to step back from recording and stuff like that yeah you just do um if i can give that advice to anybody that is filming or doing anything on youtube you know give yourself a break give yourself a break because you need it um, and that's with any job, of course. Um, you, that's why we get vacations and vacation time and all of that. So it's the same with YouTube. So that's kind of what I did. And so during that time, I just was just like not doing anything. There were some other things going on. And so I just did not decorate. I will next year. <laughs> I talked to the kids about it. Really, the only one is like my daughter and Pooh Bear, my two older sons, they like, they don't really, they ain't tripping, you know, but Pooh Bear and, uh, my daughter was, hold on, I'm trying to do something and I've not messed up something, but I'm like, wait, hold on. 
Oh, there it is. Okay, so um, yeah, I talked to my daughter. She was like, mom, it's cool. Like she wasn't really tripping. Pooh Bear, he was like, you know, he would have liked it, but he wasn't really tripping either. So I said, okay, just, you know, they know as long as, you know, mom does Christmas. So, um, and that's a whole nother thing within itself because I have so much Christmas decor and I've been good. I have not really been picking up stuff this year. I, I, I have because <laughs> I have a whole, I have, but I'm really trying to only pick up things that, are unique or just really different than what I already have. So I'm trying to do my, my haul. I have to record it for you guys. And trust me, my family is ready for me to record it because I'm looking over here at my front dining room and I can see all the decor sitting on the table. I will not turn this camera around and show you. And then you guys remember the two gingerbread stools that I found at Home Goods. Why are those sitting on my kitchen counter where I took that picture at and I did that shorts video? Them babies is still sitting on them counter like they just belong there. Like they are a part of the family now. And I was like, I'm sorry y'all, you know, the island is big enough. So they just sitting on the island. So until I do my haul, I'm not moving them. Um, so I do have to do that really, really soon. Um, what else was I going to talk to you guys about? Yeah, so I'm thinking about starting to decorate. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably start decorating for Christmas. Usually, you know, people do it the day after Thanksgiving or whatever. Um, I think I'm going to start November 1st, believe it or not. I know that's, uh, that's so early. Some people already started. I've seen a lot of videos where people was already decorating, but in my household, I think I'm going to decorate the day after Halloween and that way, because it put, it's so much work, it's so much time that goes into taking all that down and putting stuff up and, um, just all of that, that you want to be able to, to enjoy it for a while. And so, hold on, multitasking. You want to be able to enjoy it for a while. So if I wait until the day after Thanksgiving, then I'm only going to have my stuff up for maybe about a month because I start to take my Christmas decor down the day before New Year's. I always do that because going into the new year, I don't want all the Christmas stuff everywhere. So that's usually my thing. So this year, I think I'm going to start early, a lot, er a lot earlier than normal. <laughs> Um, the next thing I wrote down a few things, um, that's pretty much it. There's been, you guys, there's so, in the past years, it was not this easy to find all the gingerbread stuff. And you guys know I've been collecting gingerbread. A lot of people have started over the past like two, three years, but I've been, I've been collecting my gingerbread pieces for, ooh, maybe seven, eight, nine years that I've been collecting. So when I started collecting, what what I can find now, I mean, a pack of three, a family, a baby, a mama and a daddy, gingerbread pillows. I could not have found none of that in the past. But now there is so many items. Oh my goodness. Um, between the ginger, between between the pillows and the blankets, Ugh, everything with gingerbread. So I'm trying to make sure. I don't pick up <laughs> everything that is cute and I've been doing good. Um, but you will see what I have in my haul. But uh, what I was saying was, is that it's just so crazy how many things you can find now and how, um, people are really, you know, the, the gingerbread stuff now is starting to be viral. Um, there was the, there's the house with the big ice cream cone on the top. Uh, I recently just did a video at Home Goods showing that house. Um, there was two on the floor. As soon as the door opened, these two ladies took off running for them, picked up both of them, and I was like, dang, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we'll talk about the ice cream one later but you know there's just a lot of items there's a, a gingerbread pillow i was able to find the boy um 
and he's pretty big he's a 30 dollar gingerbread boy pillow at home goods there's also a girl she has on like a tutu skirt and that one is hard to find i, I guess you know people are looking for that so you see what i'm saying like in the past it, everybody would have just overlooked you know the gingerbread and would have went straight to ray dunn and you know so it's funny how things have changed and i'm here for it i love it i've always loved gingerbread so i'm happy to see it i love watching other people's hauls i'm like okay that's so cute oh my goodness it's so cute and then i love that they like to see what i'm showing so it's like a whole little you know community of gingerbread lovers and i just i love it i absolutely love it um so i will be sharing my haul soon amongst all the other stuff that i have picked up uh what else is i gonna tell you guys oh another thing that is driving me crazy and i've been picking up pieces i've always liked betsy johnson but i think the past oh two and a half no the past three years some of my pieces go back further than three years maybe four five years maybe five years i've been picking up <clears throat> betsy johnson jewelry like i started with her earrings i used to pick up just her earrings but now these bracelets and some of the necklaces ugh, i have to have it i'm like i have to, i have to so i I've, I've been picking up some betsy johnson and i was gonna ask you guys how many of you guys collect betsy johnson did you pick up anything this year or last year um, like, do you have a favorite piece? If you do, let me know down below. It's just her stuff is so timeless. It's so pretty. It's whimsical. It's fun. I had the um, I haven't even worn it yet, but I picked up that that uh candy one that she has for Halloween with the candy pieces that say zap and all that type of stuff. I haven't even worn it. I have the bracelet for it too. Like I said, I just really didn't get into Halloween. So maybe you guys will see that those pieces next year. You know, I don't know. But yeah, her Christmas stuff is super cute. So I've been picking up some of the Betsy. Not the bags. Her bags are cute. I've always liked her bags. There's a, there's a few that I'm like, oh, I should pick that up. But I'm really just into her jewelry and her shoes. Her shoes are really cute too. <laughs> she always got bling everywhere. Um, so think that's it i think that's all i wanted to talk to you guys about i wrote on my notes a few things i was going to talk to you guys about the pottery barn pillows um where did i buy oh the set that i got from home goods it's a baby the dad and the mom only reason why i picked that up is because i don't have anything like that in my collection but there's a baby a dad and a mom pillow gingerbread at pottery barn kind of makes me feel like that one was a dupe at home goods the ones at Pottery Barn are like, I think like $80, $90 or something like that. I got the whole set for $30, so I'll show you guys that soon. But yeah, Pottery Barn has some cute stuff. Last year, I got the gingerbread robe and the slippers, if you guys remember that. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, Pottery Barn has some really nice gingerbread stuff. Very, very expensive though, but very nice collectible pieces too. So uh, yeah. And last but not least, before I tell you guys bye, um, I was in Sam's Club. Uh, let me not type that right now. <laughs> for I type something else in there. I think the other day I had did a Marshalls video. See, I get sidetracked a little bit because I be talking to the kids and I be doing stuff and the phone might ring and I'm talking and I'm trying to do the editing. And I think I was at Marshalls. I know some of y'all caught that. <laughs> I mean, we, I'm human. I make mistakes, but I was at Marshall's and I think in my thumbnail, I put the pictures, but then I put Burlington and I know some of y'all was like, hold on, hold on. Pretty and flawed. I thought you was at Marshall's. Why the thumbnails show Burlington? Psh, hey, <laughs> so I don't want to type nothing right now. Cause I might mess up some, Had y'all watching a target video and the title would be like, welcome to big lots. I don't know. But, um, I was in Sam's Club the other day and I had seen uh, the pumpkin spice uh, seasonings, right? And for about two weeks now, I kept teetering with the thought of making some food with pumpkin spice seasonings and stuff and giving it to my kids to try. I wasn't going to do a video or anything. I was going to make some pumpkin spice hamburgers. I was going to season it with all that. And uh, what else did I say? I said some pumpkin spice macaroni and cheese. And just to do it, just to kind of get their reaction. Um, I know you can get the sweet potato 
fries and stuff like that but i wanted to do pumpkin the pumpkin spice because there are some uh seasonings and stuff um i'm not gonna do it i thought about it and then once i mentioned it i think one of you guys in the comment section said somebody had just did some cooking with some pumpkin spice or some kind of seasoning on their channel and you mentioned their name i have to go back in my comments and go watch because i didn't go watch it um but yeah some one of you guys mentioned somebody was cooking pumpkin spice something but yeah so that was just something i was thinking about doing i don't know would you guys try that would you would you do something like that because i don't even drink pumpkin spice coffee none of the drinks i don't do none of that so um yeah that was just something funny or fun that i wanted to do um but yeah so that's it you guys i just wanted to yep i got all my notes right here i just wanted to you know sit down and talk to you guys for a few minutes i'm gonna wrap this up though how are you guys all doing down in the comment section let me know what you are on the hunt for um also let me know when do you guys start decorating for christmas i think i ask you guys that every year it's always different everybody changes like this year i'm changing so um yeah and that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this video because i want to get this up like within the next 10 minutes it is 151 i want to have this up by two o'clock for you guys so um thank you guys for watching i just wanted to talk to you for a minute um next time i do this i'll go live uh i just i just couldn't right now so thank you for watching if you're new hit that subscribe button and you guys always remember to like the video please that helps you know the video my videos get pushed out a little more for you know more supporters so always like and if you're new hit that subscribe button okay i'll talk to you all i can't even talk i'll talk to you all real soon in another video okay bye